We are happy today and with me Global Tiger Forum of which Dorje, the Minister from Bhutan is the Chair, he is the Director General there, Ministers from Bangladesh, Russia and there were Ministers from eight countries who participated in and I am giving you a press note in which all the details are given. So 13 countries, Tiger Range countries participated and this was a great success because the deliberations were <coughs> intensive, very thought provoking and giving, coming out with many new suggestions. And while inaugurating Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has put forth five thoughts which are very important for tiger conservation. He said tiger conservation is not a choice, it's an imperative. So we have to do it. Second, conservation of nature or tiger is not a drag on development. Many people think that this is development is different, conservation is different and there is a conflict. No, it's in sync then there is a need to consider them as natural capital. And our Prime Minister always emphasizes that uh, if we are arranging a marriage in our family, we list out what are the assets. So we list out, we have bungalow, we have car, we have this, we have that. But we don't mention that we have 50 trees. That's natural capital. So natural capital is an important thing. Then benefits of tiger conservation are enormous but intangible. How one may not realize how it helps the whole ecosystem, but they are enormous. And you also emphasize need of regional cooperation for combating wildlife crime. And I'm happy to say that yesterday, South Asia Wildlife Enforcement Network, we have, cabinet has passed uh, uh, our memorandum and so now we are part of that network. So that's a new thing. And there were ministers from our states also, state of Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka and Rajasthan. So there were four ministers uh, from four states and <coughs> we distri PM distributed uh, awards for excellence in different fields and that like Periyar, Satpura, Kana, Parambikulam and Kaziranga for various things. That also I am giving you in the press note. More importantly, today the conference adopted a <laughs> New Delhi resolution and that copy I will give. There are seven, eight important points. It is for accelerate implementation of global tiger recovery program which includes global tiger recovery program. That is very important and that includes habitat improvement, anti-poaching surveillance, through modern technology and other measures. So habitat improvement, unless you create fodder and water augmentation, the prey base won't be enough. And unless there is a prey base, there won't be the tiger which is epitome of a case. So that accelerate implementation of global tiger. That's the main recommendation. Align development and tiger conservation by participation of local other stakeholders and businesses. We believe in partnership. Partnership with local communities because they are actually the protectors. We believe in partnership with civil societies, then business houses because through their CSR, they can put money into it and they can really get benefit out of it also. And therefore that's, that is mentioned. Leveraging funding and technical support from international organizations 
through multilateral and bilateral because there are only 13 tiger range countries but there are other countries which care for nature which care for uh, conservation and their help is important because it will strengthen our efforts promotion of tiger habitat as to provide ecosystem services economic growth and addressing climate change there is one uh, mistake which has happened is when there is provide ecosystem services instead it has been mentioned as ecosystem service tax some officer must have always after service it becomes tax no it is services huh no in it's not in but in my hand what is the press brief in that briefing not in the resolution resolution is correct resolution is correct but in the press brief the, which is be, to be distributed there instead of services ha to service tax so then the recovery of tiger in low density protected area yes yeah, this is very important how to protect tigers in low density area there are three area three r formula restoration reintroduction and rehabilitation through these three r's we can recover tiger in and increase the number in low density areas then strengthening cooperation for combating wildlife crime and that is what we have joined this south asia network enhancement of knowledge sharing and capacity building of stakeholders and enhanced use of technology so these are the uh, this is the resolution this will be a landmark resolution in conservation preservation and increasing the number of tigers and take care of ecosystem as well so we also took pledge this pledge all the participants and the pledge is i hereby solemnly pledge that also i am giving you to protect the tiger and its wild habitat to ensure crucial ecological services for posterity to contribute for fostering awareness for tiger conservation by factoring in its concerns in areas while tiger is not the goal to work for a balance between tiger conservation and ecological sustenance development towards harmonious of co-occurrence of human beings beings and tiger and commit to conserve our natural heritage while making all out effort for future sustenance of wildlife so i think this this conclave three days deliberations has produced a very good resolve in amongst all the 13 countries and it has laid out a clear cut road map of how to move ahead and therefore this was a very important and successful uh, conference